They said he's fighting in three, uh, fighting in three that everyone knows about, and at least a dozen. That, that they, oh yeah, he's got all his under. He's got all of his unannounced wars that he's doing. It all has to do with unseating a Muslim that is in charge and putting him on. Okay, our president is the most. He's the only president in our nation's history that's ashamed of the religion he is. Totally ashamed that he's a Muslim. Which makes everybody upset. What makes the Muslims upset? Makes the Muslims upset. I mean, and you can't tell anybody. You can't tell on television that he's a Muslim. Well, he's not a Muslim. He goes to church. Not if he could avoid it. He doesn't. Well, you know, did anybody remember the Bible flap? Or how long it took him? To, well, actually, I don't even know if he really. He doesn't have his church in D.C. No. Nope. He he travels to different ones. Yeah. Um, as the occasion is needed. Yeah, if he needs to look like he's religious, he goes to a church. If he doesn't, he basically is out playing golf. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, you know, other presidents did that. Not on Sundays, they all went to church because it was an important thing in a Christian nation to be seen going to a church. Mm -hmm. But not with this president. But, um, you know, so they said this is the most... And I mean, okay, I've been around for actually, I'm in my eighth, I actually do, I, I actually, in my eighth decade, isn't that horrible? But, um, uh, you know, my birthday is coming up in a few days, and I get to be another year older, and I get to see how bad things are turning. I mean, there's nothing going better. People, uh, I mean, my father built homes for people coming back after World War II. I mean, you know, everybody, it, it was, you know, then it was just, you know, basically the same rules as they have today, which is you got to, if, if you could pay for the house with the money you had in your pocket, you could buy the house. But the problem is, is that the genie has been let out of the bottle on the housing market, and they're wanting to give people, I heard this this morning, once in another Fourth of July thing, you know, all of you poor people that are paying on your homes, you know, faithfully, uh, they're going to knock the principal off of all of the people's homes that basically support the President of the United States. Oh, really? Yeah, which means uh, Afro-Americans, illegal aliens, those people, liberal Democrats. They got to, They said uh, they want to knock because they, they feel that the, that they're not going to be able, that this is a good one. Don't, it has nothing to do with the fact that the President owns most of the banks, he's the, in charge of the banks. But, the houses are now worth so much less because of George Bush and Republicans that say you've dumped 200, your house is $250,000 in the hole. Well, let's knock that $250,000 off as a gift from the, the people of the United States. But the problem is somebody has to pay that $250,000. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't go vanish. If you take, uh, they said there's $3.5 trillion worth of homes the president wants to give people as gifts. You still got to pay the money. It's just like, uh, here's the trick, he said, uh, there are too many people out there that don't, that when they, they don't understand that just because their home is foreclosed on doesn't mean they have, they can stop paying on the house. They borrow it, the money has to be repaid, not under the president. Mm -hmm. So that's the 4th of July for everybody in our nation. You know, I'm not being facetious, it's just the 4th of July this year. It's going to be no fireworks. I know. Now, there's no fireworks for a number of reasons, and they fall in two categories. One is EPA. Yeah. It's cracking down cities like San Diego. Yeah, and they're using San Diego and other cities as an exact test case to see if they can win it. <coughs> and then the other reason is good old, it's money. Money doesn't have the money anymore. <coughs> because then, <coughs> here's a good one. Cities, you know, slime ball, we're going to put it this way. Slime ball Democrats have taken money that would be used for the fireworks program, which was dedicated to the fireworks program by people that had donated the money and putting it in youth programs because it's more important that the youth in the area, you know, have this money. I, I'm going to use it. I work... But uh, if it was earmarked for a certain thing, that's where it's supposed to you're be You're not set. supposed to change it. I'm going to try it. No. I worked on an episode of MASH, which I thought was really... I always liked that episode because it really got to the... because my family the same way. Uh, Winchester... Winchester Rifles? No, William, Major Winchester, Winchester. He gave them, he gave kids candy and stuff for for Fourth of July. I mean, for Christmas. Yeah. And they got all. They don't need the candy. They need clothes. They need this. He gave them candy and good foods and stuff for the, for Christmas. 
they got on his backsides because of that. This is the same thing. See, my mother would have been on the side of the people today. My mother, <clears throat> who is this? My mother was a New England Christian, folks. Which meant you didn't give things that anybody wanted for Christmas. You gave the things that they they needed. Well, if you needed handkerchiefs, you got handkerchiefs. If you needed a hairbrush, you got a hairbrush. If you needed socks, you got a socks. So it's you, you didn't get toys, you didn't get candy, you didn't get toys, didn't get any of that stuff if she'd have had her way. But unfortunately, she was married to a Spencer German and <laughs> an Irish who basically would go out and make certain that children all had, you know, you know, they all had, well, what happened was he would bring home bags full of sugar, my father, bags full of sugar, bag, you know, containers full of, um, of, of fudge, you know, cocoa and peanut butter, and then we'd sit there and make that bloody candy for Christmas. <clears throat> but Christmas always had plenty of things that my mother did not approve of. You good know. thing. Yeah, remember, my mother was also my mother was also a Democrat too. So that and, has nothing to do with yep, it. Yeah, has everything to do it's with really it. Uh, well, liberal Democrats like Obama don't believe in Christmas. They don't celebrate it because it's a holiday where you should be uh, that. Uh, <laughs> okay, <clears throat> yeah, here's one. Mark Twain. How do you tell a Republican from a Democratic Christmas? How. Oh. Uh, Republicans put money into the Salvation Army pot, the Democrats reach in and take it out because they think it's theirs. Oh, no, that's, that's Mark Twain and Will Rogers. You know, that um, Will Rogers said, I never saw a man I didn't like in, except for Christmas when Democrats were taking the money out of the donation plates because they felt the money belonged to them and they had more of a need for it than, mm -hmm. than the other people did. But um, um, it's just. <clears throat> Democrats do not strongly believe in Christmas because it's a day, um, a day that you get, a day that you, it's just, uh, it's a day out of the year that you're not taking. Mm -hmm. And uh, look who gives the less to, to, um, to charities. The charities they are almost always Democrats. Who gives the most is the people, is those, those, those millionaires that can't afford. I mean, God, I, you know, actually, my father would have been a billionaire sometimes in his life. Ooh. You know, like, How do you become a billionaire? Uh, you may have, you, you uh, either make or, or have a worth of a million dollars in inventory every year. Ooh. See, at one time, my father would have a track custom homes, folks. You know, like she knows, we, were, we, we built track custom homes. Actually, she's seen the homes that my father worked on in Sepulveda. Mm -hmm. This. We're talking both sides of the street in one area. My father basically built all of those homes. I worked on them. And those homes were selling for like hundred, two hundred thousand dollars back in the old days. Because they're on really good chunk of nice. huge homes, you know. And uh, we had we, we basically were building all of them one time. We were in a boom period of homes at that time. And uh, he'd have been a billionaire for two or three years in his life. Ooh. Of course. You know, we were eating cold, we were eating cold hamburgers and drinking melted um, milkshakes. milkshakes and cold French fries, our warm beans and hot dogs because the money, everything that my mother was making and my father was making as a police officer or a Canada Drive driver or, a, or an actor or stunt person was going into maintaining those homes because if the, you know. Uh, what my father didn't realize is you can't sell them as fast as you can a twenty-five thousand dollar home. Yeah, they take longer to sell. They took longer mm -hmm. to sell, so that's why we were we were billionaires for a long time. <laughs> and just remember, the value kept going up, but you have to you pay the construction loans every month. And you month. have to pay on those bills. Right, you have to pay on the bills, but um, so but uh, it's it just you know I resent. And you know, a nation. I mean, I, you know, like the day uh, I actually had. Here's a good thing. I'm old enough that I had a rule in our house is on, on the Fourth of July, at Thanksgiving, Christmas, you know, and Easter that there was n no politics and and nobody caused problems in the house on those holidays, and they all knew. You know, my family is basically equal divided between Christians and not and Jews and and and. 